of those moments that just stick out in your mind? Those ones that just stay with you forever. When I was a kid, I was told, you are what you do. So choose wisely. And I tried to choose doctor, but that didn't take. I can still hear him. You know, this, this just isn't for you. But I knew what they meant. This just isn't you. It's probably not a problem for you, is it, buddy? Chomper, world's best pup and friend. Chaser of squirrels, smeller of city streets, and chewer of literally everything. <laughs> See, you know exactly who you are. Oh, I wish I could say the same. I probably should have had a backup plan, huh? Guess I haven't exactly made the best decisions lately. <laughs> Except for adopting you, of course. Thought you had to be pretty lost. And I sure as hell wouldn't be out on this road in the middle of nowhere, Alaska. But we needed a fresh start, and I've dreamed of dog sledding since I was a kid. Marco made the races sound incredible. And from how you've dragged me up and down the streets of San Francisco, I think you have dog racing dreams too. Well, let's go assemble us a team, huh, Chomper? We need four more pups to start training. Oh, hey, we just passed mile marker 32. So the ad said that just after the mile marker, there'd be a kennel with a dog sledding veteran we could adopt. Figure we can check out the pup, maybe add some experience to our team. What do you think? Let's find someone that compliments your squirrel hunting obsessions. Maybe a calmer pup? You look like a force to be reckoned with. Gail, is it? I don't think you'll be needing much motivation. You might need more than a nudge in the right direction, but looks like you'll set your sights on a destination and get there. I'll probably have to make sure you take some time to rest so we can keep this energy up. Well, you really want that window open. Do you always need the wind in your fur? Yeah, it can be hard to be cooped up. Did you know you're about to venture into the vast expanse of the Alaskan wilderness? I guess you'll have plenty of room to run. Just let's try to stay somewhat on track. I'm not sure what's out there. Do you think you're ready for that, girl? You're the first one on our team. Well, you and Chomper. I may need to get someone to keep you both in line. <laughs> I can't wait to just let you loose and pull us along. It's easy to tell that's your true calling. Get you in your element, never let that wind leave your fur. It's just a few more miles to our next stop. We're looking for three more pups to fill out our team and help us get to our new home. Uh, did you move your house here? I don't have any snacks, Bodega. Why didn't I bring snacks? They said he's been eating them out of house and home. Well... Take care, Bodega. It's just a few more miles to our next stop. We're looking for three more pups to fill out our team and help us get to our new home. Hey, girl. Are you Finn? Quite the uh, collection you've gathered here. Are these all things you found? They said you're pretty good with your nose. You tend to follow that more than anything else. Sometimes that led you to good things. Sometimes it led you to skunks. <laughs> your owners got tired of skunks, huh? Well, I don't really know my way out there. We might need some help to find more than just the trail. And while you might not be the best at running, be great to have some help to know what to do. There's a lot I don't know about the Alaskan bush. And it's probably important that I try to recognize that I don't know what I don't know. <laughs> okay, Finn. Seems like we could use a smart dog with a nose for the trail on our team. We'd love to have you, Finn.
Hey team, I'd like to introduce you all to Finn. Finn comes to us, well, from the Alaskan bush, just like many of you do, except for you, Chomper. Finn is joining us from a family from way out here. So Finn, you like collecting things, huh? Chomper's the same. Every morning I wake up and he's piled all my shoes in my bed and is using them as a pillow. It's probably not quite the same. Your family said you'd never come back in from walks. You're always yearning to discover more out there, but you had a tendency to not know when you should stop and take a break. You just push and find yourself too tired to get back easily. That sounds like we'll have the right kind of adventures then. We're gonna keep going and rest along the way to, well, wherever. I don't know what's gonna be out there. I know what I've read and what's likely to happen, but if the past few years have taught me anything, it's that I can only plan to be surprised and do my best to adapt to what's in front of me. We'll follow you to the surprises we need, because we all know we'll need food once we set up our new spot. Well, you ready? Jumper, you approve? We're happy to have you, Finn. Oh, you're right. <laughs> We're nearly at the next stop. Thanks. You mind if I give you a pet? Okay, well, that's pretty good. Maybe we'll get to a pet eventually, but I will accept a cautious sniff. Hey, Chomper, you have to take it slow too, okay? She's not ready for you, your lack of personal boundaries. Okay, so far so good. Two pups out of the three stops is a great start. We only need to adopt two more dogs and we have five more stops. I think we'll be okay. Igloo, where are you, girl? You know you have a house right there. You don't have to be in the snow. Right. Home is where you make it, huh, Iggy? Why are you just a big old snowball? Big, fluffy, loud. So, your owner said you're ready for an adventure. You love being out in the wild. But they've grown too old for the risks of what's out there. Well... I think we can make this happen. I've got a new life to start. You seem ready to be the wall we need if we get into trouble. And we'll all have each other's backs. Adopting dogs is so easy. I basically just love all of you. Our team is almost complete and I've only met a few dogs. We've got four more stops to find our last team member. Noodle, huh? <laughs> I can see that. I said running alone wasn't enough for you. You were looking for some kind of challenge and a musher who'd listen to you too. Well, I don't really know what I'm doing, so uh, having some help out there might be nice. Are you ready for the retired life? Or are you just waiting for someone to believe in you again? Just know that I still have to make the calls and try to do what's best for us. Will that work for you? Enjoy your nap. We're nearly a complete pack! Only one more pup and the team is done, and we still have three more to meet. Oh, this is gonna be a hard decision. Oh, you're not a small fella, are you? They said you were big, but you're gonna make Chomper look like he was mixed with a corgi. You're actually kind of intimidating. Okay, it sounds like you've gotten into a few fights out there in the wilderness, and that you always stuck by your musher's side, but they were afraid you would jump into a fight you couldn't win. But now you've become restless, being stuck back in the kennel, howling at night for the wild you can't get to. Well, we're hopefully going to have a nice training run out to a new home. We'll see plenty of wild things, I'm sure, and I'd like to avoid the fights I can't win, too. I think this could be good for both of us. All right. What do you think? I'm not really sure why they call you Barkley. You haven't made a single sound since I met you. Should we give you a new name? Something that reflects your quiet nature? 
Hey, slippers it is. What do you think? Okay, so uh, not quiet, just one to pick your moments. I will make sure to listen. So let's keep Barkley then. I can't believe it. We're really about to do this. We've got an incredible team here, and all that's left for us is to head out to our new home. I can't believe we made it to Alaska Chomper. Margot said to travel to the end of the road, and then hop on the sled, and travel a few days more. We'd know her cabin by the red lantern hanging by the door, and she gave us this map. It's, uh, not as helpful as I'd like. But it'll get us there. We just have to pick our path. So, you're gonna have to take the lead. It's a lot of responsibility looking out for a team, but I think you're ready for it. You ready to find our new home? <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, let's make sure we have what we need. We've got our team, Barkley, Gail, Finn, Iggy, and the sled is all ready to go. We've packed the bare essentials to get us started, but we're gonna have to live off the land once we get to our cabin, so we might as well start training for that now too, right? Two pieces of raw meat. Well, you pups can handle the uncooked raw and cold food. The kind we'll also find on the trail, but I'm gonna have to cook that up if I don't want to freeze my insides. Hypothermia is not something I'm really looking to try. We'll be able to set up camp once we get properly out on the trail. I scrounged up this old gun and a couple of bullets, just in case. So we'll make do with what we have. We can use them to hunt or keep them around in case we need to protect ourselves. It is the wilderness, after all. You know, bears, moose, wolves, skunks. I should be able to bandage us up if something happens. Dogs, people, it's all the same basics. Okay, well, I guess we should start. What do they say again? Uh, mush on. Now up here, we don't say left and right. We use ha for left and g for right. So let's go. Ha! See that? It's a caribou. Great. A squirrel. Please don't see a chomper. I know you love them, but just try to ignore it. He sees it. Hey, we've got priorities. Let's go. Hmm. Let's go. Gee! Oh, did you see that? A bald eagle! Uh, no, Chomper, I don't think you can jump that high. What do you pups think? Yep, let's see where it's going. You're a lot bigger than I expected. I heard it's illegal to shoot a bald eagle. Do you know if that's true? I know you used to be endangered. Huh. 
So, uh, know any good places to eat around here? Okay then. I probably shouldn't give into your prey drive, but this seriously helps our lack of bullets situation. But we're gonna have so much future training to do, buddy. Okay, you feeling energized? Let's get back on track. Chomper, do you mind not releasing everyone? All the time? Let's be safe out there. Gail, slow down. There's something up there. I think we should... Wow. Okay, Gail, uh, I'm not even sure we should be messing with porcupines. Huh? See? They have a worse business end than skunks. I don't want to mess with that. Oh, Gail, I tried to warn you. Hold still, I got you. You can't just rush into things. Especially things covered in spikes. Keep up, Stu, okay? All right. Let's mush on. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. I wish I could provide better warnings about porcupines. They actually have a pointy end. I wish you didn't have to learn by doing, though. So. I know it's bothering you, but let's mush on. Let's take a break. Looks like we found some birch trees. I need you to start fires. <sighs> that was more work than it should have been. Let's get back to it. You pups do okay? We can start a fire at camp now. Ready to go? Should we camp? We uh, set up a pretty good camp. We've got our meat all strung up to be out of reach of bears. And we can make a fire. It'll be nice to cook up some food or warm my bones. And of course, I can check on all of you. Should we camp? We should be able to take care of ourselves here. Fire would be nice. I'm ready to cook some food. I'm ready to cook some food. Sorry, buddy. I don't have anything to feed you. Ready for pets, Barkley? Oh, let's get those pets in, buddy. Pets. It's okay. You don't have to be the petting type. You barely know me. But I think you'll grow to like me. I already like you. Let's just take it slow and we'll find ways to show we trust one another.
Ooh, Chomper loves pets. Might be time to get some rest. I'm sure my stomach will be grumbling by morning. But the dogs will be energized. Well, should we go to sleep? All right, everyone feeling better? Back on the trail? I think we're done here. Let's go. Fork in the road, or two. Gee! Big fella, aren't you? It's okay, pups. I got this. You're making this feel really personal. Thank you for helping us. That was worth it. Some more food. Okay, at least we've got two bullets. Ready to go? So, oh, it's a weasel. Where did it go? I can only see a tree. Ah, there you are. You're not very good at hiding. You're perfect just as you are. You did that on purpose! Thanks for holding down the sled, pups. This is our last bullet. At least we've already got some food. Let's go, Chomper. Now what? Gee! You know, we're actually doing pretty well. I mean, we're still alive. And we're getting closer to our new home. You know, just have to make it past some more trees and snow. You pups look like an incredible team. You even move as one. I am very impressed with your sled dog instincts. Chomper, you've truly unlocked your prey drive. And it's been really nice not seeing any other people. It's just us in the world. I didn't expect to talk out loud this much, but we're really doing this. We're, I, I mean, I, I'm becoming a musher. I think Margo would be proud. I still can't believe she gave us her old cabin and, and gear. We're making progress. We should be there soon enough. Let's take a break. This is a good spot to rest. Let's rest. We should be able to take care of ourselves here. Food time! Chow down, pups! <laughs> A fire would be nice. I'm ready to cook some food. I'm ready to cook some food. Let's 
good to have you on the team, Barkley. Who's a good dog, John? It's okay. You don't have to be the petting type. You barely know me. But I think you'll grow to like me. Let's just take it slow and... Scratches, scratches, scratches. I take this mitten off, but I fear frostbite. Get back on the trail. All right, let's mush on. We'll be okay. We'll, we'll get you taken care of. It's okay. Get in the sled. You don't need to run right now. Ready to go? Oh, now what? I thought things were going to plan. I really did, but now... I'm not so sure. I didn't even know that muskox were out here, and, and they don't care about what happens to us at all. This might be too much for us. But how do you know when something is actually for you? We found the test we wanted, and we've made it through. So if this is for us, it'll work. It has to. Hmm. Let's go. Ha! Hey, a bunny! Uh, hello? So, like, uh, your family or. Is that an answer to my question, or some kind of cuteness defense mechanism? It's food. Cute food, but still just food. It's not like a name them or anything. Well, that one's Fluffington, but uh, stop it. Also, that's a terrible name. That's a five-year-old's name. I'm too soft to be out here. Hey, pups. I think we're done here. Let's go. So many tree stumps over there. I'd feel a lot more comfortable if it didn't just feel like people disappeared here. Well, there's an axe here. I am just going to, uh, take this. Uh, I 
I kind of feel like maybe I'm just rationalizing theft. But if I don't take it, someone else will, right? Well, should I try this out? Seems to be plenty of birch here. It's so much easier than ripping this off by hand. Looks like we're done here. Thanks for waiting, pups. We can start a fire at camp now. Ready to go? Now what? Jay! I'm, um... I'm feeling a little weak, pups. It's getting dark, right? I'll just rest my eyes. Keep on running, pups. Oh, God. Yeah, we, uh, we really need to take care of ourselves out there. We've got a lot of stomachs to think about. I can't take care of you if I don't have the strength to keep my eyes open. We have to plan ahead. Are we ready for this? Okay, I just have to be prepared. And hope the world is on my side. <laughs>